In this video, I'm going to show you two editing workflows. The first one is a more traditional workflow, and the second uses the iOS feature called Slide Over so that you can view Link and the Word app on one iPad screen. You can also adapt this to use Split View. This editing workflow works in any DMS that we support, such as iManage or NetDocuments or eDocs. It also works with OneDrive in Link and Windows File Shares in Link. In this case, I'll use iManage and I tap on the iManage tile. I'll go to my Recent Documents. To edit a file in Link, you can start in one of two ways. The first is to tap on the ellipsis icon and select Check Out and Edit. The second is to tap on the document itself. I'll tap on that New Consulting Agreement DOCX. You can see that the document is open on the right hand side. I'm looking at the document and I'd like to edit it with Word. So I tap the pencil icon. Here I select Edit in Office, and I tap on the Word tile. Link opens this consulting agreement directly in the Edit screen of Word. You do not have to look for it in Word. In the Word app, you cannot edit a .doc Link will convert the .doc to a .docx for you so that you can edit in the Word app. Now I'm going to make a change. I'm adding the last name Harris. When I'm done editing in the Word app, I tap the back caret in the upper left. This is still in the Word app and I'm going to swipe up to exit the Word app and then tap on the link tile. This is the pop-up screen, which reminds me that I have unsaved edits and that I need to check them in. I can choose to discard my edits, ignore this pop-up, or tap green for upload, which is what I'm going to do here. This is my upload screen to check in the document back to iManage. It shows me the current file name. I could rename it where it says new name by tapping in that field. And then it gives me three check-in options. Check-in as a new doc ID, check-in as a new version of the existing doc ID, or replace this, also called overwrite. Here, I want to check in as a new version of the same doc ID, and that is highlighted in blue, so I just leave it as is. If I like, I can add a comment, and then I tap the Upload button. Now my document is checked in. The new consulting agreement is at the top. It was version 42, now it's version 43, and I can also tap the ellipsis icon, select Compare Versions, Compare version 43 to version 42. Tap the check mark in the upper right. And there's the change where I added the last name Harris. And in the document, you can see that it shows me that I added the last name Harris. This editing workflow in the Link app is going to use the iOS slide over feature. I'll start in iManage and tap on the iManage tile. And then I'll tap on Recent Documents. To start an edit in the Link app, I can start by either tapping the ellipsis menu and selecting Check Out and Edit. The second way to start an edit is to tap on the file name, New Consulting Agreement, and the file is displayed on the right-hand side. I would like to edit this file with the Word app and I'd like to share the screen between Link and Word. So I'm going to tap the ellipsis menu in the top center, 
and I'm going to select Slide Over. Now the Link app is partially hidden on the right-hand side, and I want to share the screen with the Word app, so I tap the Word tile. Now to edit, I tap the pencil icon, select Edit in Office, my document is checked out, and I tap the Word icon to edit with Word. Link opens the Word file in the Edit screen in the Word app. And now I don't need to look at Link, so I'm going to slide it over to the right. There is a tab. The tab does disappear off the side of the screen, but it's still there. So if I want to return to Link, I can slide it over to the left, or now I'm going to slide it back to the right to hide it. And here I'm going to make a small edit. I'm going to delete that and on in accordance with the schedule specified. And now I'm finished editing, so I tap the back caret in the upper left. I don't need to use the Word app any longer, so I pull out the Link app, and in the top center at the three dots, I select Full Screen. I'm back in Link, and Link presents this prominent pop-up, reminding me to check my document in. It shows me the file name and the doc ID and the version number. I can tap either Red for Discard, White for Ignore, or Green to Upload. And I do want to upload this document and check it in, so I tap Green for Upload. This is the upload screen where I check the file in. It shows me the current name. There's a field for new name. I could tap into that field and amend the name if I wanted to. And then my check-in options are check in as a new doc ID, check in as a new version of the existing doc ID, or replace or overwrite. I want to check it in as a new version of the same doc ID and that is already highlighted in blue, so I just leave it as is. I could add a comment if I wanted to, and I'm ready to check it in, so I tap the Upload button. My document is checked in, and here's the new consulting agreement at the top. I tap the ellipsis menu, select Compare Versions. Link is going to compare version 44 with version 43, or I could elect to compare other versions. I tap the check mark in the upper right to run the comparison. Here's my summary, and there is the change that I made, deleting and on. So this workflow shows using the iPad function slide over, or you could use the iPad function split view. This kind of workflow keeps both link and Word readily visible so that the person who's editing the file always knows where the two apps are located on the iPad screen.